Hey guys, I'm MMO Gameplay here, and today I'm going to do a uh, Let's Play video for the free-to-play MMO game uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online, created by Turbine. So this isn't going to be any special video; just kind of me getting on and playing. I haven't played I haven't played uh, Dungeons and Dragons a lot, but online at least, I've never played the board game. Uh, but. Let's see what we can do. I have a quest bestowed upon me. Huh. I do love the game. The, I mean, the, the graphic style. Very nice. Very nice graphics. It is... You do, um... The uh, fighting style is... Uh, I don't know what to call it right now. It's not like auto attack. You have to attack yourself. Which is really cool. Um, Alright, so let's see what we're doing here. Basically, my character is level 1, and I just got off. NPCs with glowing chalices have tax. Okay. Basically, I just got off the uh, island. The, uh, not the island, but the starter area. And let's see if I can go through this loading screen with fraps on. Uh, yep, okay, cool. That loading screen wasn't too bad. We're in the tavern. Look in your journal if you get confused about a quest. Please, okay, L, oh, cool. Uh, alright. Asked you to investigate odd wailing sounds coming from the Hayton family crypt. The crypt is in the cemetery on the west side okay and here we have our mini map in the top left let's see how the interaction is how to bind your character and conversation okay let's close this loading times are fast i guess once you start playing Okay. Looks like we have a quest over here. Huh. Okay. We're just walking around, seeing what's up. Uh. Is this my quest marker? Storm Reach. No, it's not. Cool, you regain hit points and spell points faster inside taverns. Most town areas have taverns that appear on your map as a green mug. That's cool. And I have an arrow over here, maybe that's pointing towards my quest. Okay. Let's get rid of this. There we go. You're a dangerous cleric. I've never I've I've, if I've ever seen one, but I reckon you got a heart too uh, for helping this world. Not right now, buddy. Sorry, just trying to get into this quest. This game runs surprisingly well. What is this? Okay, I think this is it. Heighten Family Crypt. Let's see what we got. Uh, we'll do a uh, normal. And uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online is an instance-based game, much like uh, Guild Wars. So you basically have like main town areas. You gather your quests. You talk to people. You sell your items. And then once you get the quest and you're ready to do them, you go into an instance dungeon. As you enter the crypt, you hear the strange and unsettling wailing that right. Kaya spoke of. This is cool. The voiceovers are great. The Dead. ancient palace rattles open, allowing access to the depths of the crypt. Oh, that's easy mode. What is this? Okay. Wow. 
destroy that spider. Let's see what we got over here. Chest. Alright. Got the crest. Destroy all the altars. I have two more left. There's one. Woohoo, got some gold. I really like the way this game looks. It's great. It it has a Keep an eye on your red hit points bar. Okay. Um, I really like this game so far. Um, it was play pay to play for a, a while. And actually when they went to the free to play model, uh, it started doing a lot better. Picked up a lot more of a player base and a lot more money. And they made a lot more money. And uh, Turbine also created uh, Lord of the Rings Online. And... Uh, Asheron's Call. So they're a pretty reputable company. Lord of the Rings just went free to play as well, and they were a long time uh, play to play game. And they'll probably just stick with their model. Got him. A magical barrier blocks the way. It seems linked to three empty crest slots in the wall. Perhaps returning the crests will disable the barrier. Okay. Alright, so I guess this is where you heal up if you're in a dungeon. I don't feel like it. Because I'm a cleric, I can do what I want. Oh, gold. Probably shouldn't just. Okay. Uh oh, we got some zombies. Zombie land. This is easy. Probably, I don't know. Really easy so far. Oops. Oop, the wailing is getting louder. Second you continue to hear wailing from one or two more altars. All right, now we gotta go find the other altars here. Assume it's down here. Oh. oh, I want this chest. Okay. Huh. I wonder if what would have happened if I fell in that water. I'm not gonna try it. What is this garbage? I 
guess I have to. Oh, it's not even deep water, it's just... Well, isn't that odd? Okay. Hmm. Well. Let's see what happens here. Maybe I have to backtrack. Okay, open that. Uh, maybe it was in that other room? Who knows? Huh, maybe it's over here. I, haven't, I don't know if I've been over here. Okay, here's the door. Yeah, it's, it's over here. The altar collapses and press drops to the ground. It glows. Got it. And there's the last crest. Cool. I think I have to take it over here. Somewhere. As you fit the last crest into place, the magical shield disappears. enough, alright. Looks like I gotta destroy the last altar. Got it. Actual waving stops when the last devourer altar shatters. You have brought the Sauhagen's fell scheme to end. Cool. Might as well open all these. I knew they'd have gold in them. Alright. Nice. And last one here. Oh, alright. Spider. Or skeleton. <laughs> Not a spider. And I think we're done. Destroy the final altar. Finished. Okay. I think I finished. And we're recalling now, so I'm just gonna. Okay, back at the village. Found this quest giver here. And. Okay. What's the difference? Let's do brute. Yes. Characters who can bind your spirit have the spirit binder title beneath their name. Where is my name? Every tavern has a spirit binder inside. Find the spirit binder inside when he was. Okay. Might as well add that. 